Good morning, my crafting friends. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been live, so this is fun this morning. I'm Corinne Braxton, and it is January 4th, 2022. Can you imagine? Happy New Year, everyone, and happy and healthy 2022. Um, we had a great vacation. Let me just find, uh, we went to Florida. Oh, hi, Linda Wilmuth. Good to see you there this morning. Welcome. Um, we went to Florida. I'm going to turn that volume off. Oops. Here we go. Okay. Um, uh, Terry and I went to Florida at the day after Christmas with our son, John. Hey, Lisa. Welcome this morning. Hey, Kathy Wilkerson. Hope you're feeling better these days. I hope you've had a nice long rest. Um, Anyway, we had uh, we had a good good week in Florida. It was in the high seventies all the time. Actually, Terry stayed for this week, and I came back to Montana. And it's quite snowy and in the twenties. So, anyway, good to see you too, Melissa. Oh, it's wonderful to see so many of you on here this morning so quickly. That's great. Hey, Jan, good to see you too. And uh, we have a lot to cover today. Today, I'll tell you what, I never ever sleep very well the night before we have a new catalog. It's my own fault, but um, I always, I don't know why I try to sleep, but then I can't. Today, January 4th, we have a lot of things that are going live for the first time. Oh, so good, Kathy. We have celebration starting. I know that's backwards to you, but today this is the beginning of celebration. And now we have our mini catalog and we can open it. It's really fun to be able to show you something. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Sweet Conversations, the Valentine projects. And it's just really, I didn't even start out with Valentine's, but then it turned into a Valentine. But, um, and then we're going to work on this wonderful paper. Oh, hey, Carla, good to see you. Happy New Year to you. So it's really fun to be able to open the catalog. And remember, of course, you can order, you get, for every $50 you order, you get something free from the mini catalog. And uh, I don't know, I have a lot of favorites. I really like a lot of things. Love this this designer paper with the flowers. I love the uh, rainbow paper. That's a really, oh, it's a it's a fabulous one. I love the one that's marvelous. Um, and something that's quite different this time, I think, um, Stamping Up has everything in the celebration catalog that is made in the United States. Thank you, Lisa, I appreciate that. So things that if we, if they run out of a certain paper, it can be hopefully printed again and they make their own stamps. So. Um, dies and punches and things like that are made in China, I believe, or in other countries, and they're shipped. And that always is a problem, um, especially during this time of year. It's going to soon be Chinese New Year's. So, ladies, all I can do is encourage you to shop early, especially with things like punches and dies. And then, of course, you can still order from the annual catalog. And actually today I'm going to be showing, using something, a product in both of my cards that um, is in the annual catalog. I really like it a lot. So, okay, let's turn the camera down. We have a lot to do. So good to see so many of you. Um, okay, here we go. Let's hold on and see if we can get this camera turned around. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much for all the hearts. That's so sweet of you. Um, this is just to line up. I don't know if you, for a hundred, this is a hundred dollar um, purchase. You get all, if you make a hundred dollar purchase, you get this stamp set. Hello, uh, friendly hello, and this designer paper. And this is a little box I made and has some note cards. Well, I didn't make the box. I covered it. It's a little pizza box. It's all from this set. And um, at the end of the month, I'm going to do a big art sampler with this set. And um, we'll also do a, a card or two cards to go with that sampler. So this is a wonderful set. I hope you, I bet many of you will be getting this one. So um, that's that. And I'm going to pull this out of the way. Let's see if I can get everything. There we go. 
to slide this off and then I'll put it on the floor because there's very little room here. So this is the card we're going to do today. It is called Happy Valentine's. It's one of my absolute favorite. Hi, Carolyn. Good to see you this morning, too. It's very snowy here. Um, when are you coming? Are you maybe in Montana? Um, this is a book binding fold. This is one of my favorites. Hey, Caitlin. Good to see you this morning, too. And um, I love book binding. It's one of my very, very top favorites of card styles. And we're going to make one of these today. It's going to be slightly different, but with these same papers. And uh, we will start. And we're going to be using some punches. We're going to have um, some new iridescent rhinestones. Love those. Um, so here we go. The stamp set, let me show you that. Oh, I, I do. I have this in my little box too. This is an embossing folder, the gingham embossing folder, and you can sort of see that. Uh, we're not using that today, but I love, I love embossing folders, and I would say, get embossing folders first in the catalog. It's one of the first things that I do anyway. Um, okay, we are. This is the stamp set. It is called Sweet Conversations. It's a distinctive one, has these uh, great dies, really nice set. These cut out tons of little tiny hearts so you don't have to punch them. Um, but it's really a nice set. I can see that there's glare right there. Let's see if I can move that a little bit. Um, yes, you are in Montana. And um, so let's see, the punch that we're using, I'm using this on both cards, is called Label Me lovely this has been this is on our annual catalog i use this so much hey martina how are you today hope your ankle is doing better i'm glad you can get into your craft room finally um so we'll use that punch and then this is the set that we are going to be i have used this in both cards this is a great set it's called uh picture this dies it's a standalone die that's in our annual catalog and it is on page 164, right down here at the bottom. And I think most people don't see this, but it's a great way to get stitched rectangles and stitched circles. And I have been using this like crazy because I was doing um, lots of swap cards that were due before Christmas, and I'll be getting those back now. So those are circles. And whenever you need a lot of something, it's really nice to have them. These are like labels. So they're all stitched on the outside and the inside. So that's a great set. But I'm going to use it on both of them. So you'll see that. Um, and then you also get the outside to look like this. That you can put little creatures or people or animals or something through that. Okay, let's take this away. And uh, Sweet Conversations is what it's called. It has sort of an artsy look to it. Um, we'll put our, our things up there. And now, which do you like better? Do you like it with the bow or without the bow? So we're going to be making one of these. Let's see. We'll get all of our pieces together. And you tell me, do you like, uh, do you like the bow or without the bow? So we are going to use, get our card out and let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit there you go that looks a little bit better get our envelope um, so we take the basic format is four and one fourth by 11 you probably have this memorized because I've done this one a lot really like it um, and then you're going to score it four and a quarter and five and a half so it's just a regular top folding card that's all it is and then it has one extra score mark right there and that's the four and one fourth and the beauty of this is that it then so it folds like this I'm gonna this this big piece then is a complete square I made these many times and I never really liked them because I would have such odd proportions and if you do it exactly at four and a quarter right there then this part is whatever um, four and a quarter by four and a quarter is perfectly square. Anyway, so we're going to 
But what I like to do is take my tear tape and let me see what's here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pull off enough of it. Um, I have had the busiest morning so far. I, I we had an appraiser. <laughs> Our neighbor gal lady is uh, is our is the appraiser for the new owners of our house, and uh, she can't. They had she had to come this morning at nine o'clock, so I was talking with her for a little bit. This is way over. This is more than I possibly need. I would normally just do two strips, but anyway, we'll like this. Anyway, you want to use a lot of a strong adhesive. Burnish it with your bone folder or your fingernail or whatever. Oh, now my bone folder just fell on the floor. Um, you want to you want to use a really strong adhesive because people are going to be opening and closing this card. They're going to wonder well, how you made it. So um, you really want to use a strong adhesive. Um, let's see what's here. I cannot see your comments, so. Uh, you girls just talk on here amongst yourselves, and let's see what's here. Swipe left. There, I can see some now. Oh, good. You like the bow. Okay, I can see that comment. Several of you said that. Thank you, because you're going to help me on this. Okay, I'll take that away, and let's just make sure I'm still in lined up, because if I, I'm up and down, I can't always see. So... Like I said, the beauty is that you get to, you're going to use completely square objects, like four by four. So we will use that. And there we go, four by four. And then we have this piece, which, oh, there's the other side of it. It's three and three fourths by four. Three and three fourths by three and three fourths. It's completely square. You can just go down in increments of a quarter of an inch or a half inch, whatever you are, eighth of an inch. And this one is, I did not mark it, but let me tell you what it is. It's, it's one inch by four inches. One inch by four inches. And we'll just put this one on. It's slightly different than my other ones. Okay, and we're going to put a ribbon on. So we're going to get this. This is um, this is gorgeous grape ribbon, and it is uh, sheer. It's just really sort of a a nice one, I think. I'm glad they carried it over from last year. Um, I'm going to cut that off, so it's not in my way. Okay, it's a beautiful, it ties beautifully into a bow. Um, I'm going to tie this into a knot. You know, when you're tying a knot, you can, it's always good to sort of hold one down and just pull on the other one. That gives you a nice, um, you can tie it in a bow or you can, I'm going to just uh, snip it like this. I think that, that looks nice. I, I think I did the bow on the other one, but it doesn't really make any difference. Um, it does tie nicely into a bow, but on camera, it does not tie nicely into a bow usually. That's usually what happens. So, okay, there's our card. This is sort of neat designer paper because it um, it has sort of two directions. So up and down, and you don't have to worry too much. Okay, and then I just love using layers. Like on this, I used, uh, you can see... Um, Oh, I know that, Carla, the knots and bows are not easy, that's for sure. Um, there are lots of good YouTube to tutorials. Some people are so much better at it than many. Um, this this white piece that I used is from the Hippo um, dies. I'm not wild about the Hippo happiness. I don't, you know, they're, they're okay. They're sort of putsy. Um, but I do love these dies, and I would highly recommend getting them. They're so useful. So I use this one a lot. I've used this one this time. So um, works pretty well. So that's where this is from. And then we're going to layer this um, with some red. And I punched out the red with that great punch. This one just, I love to layer different shapes together. The Label Me Lovely 
I know it's been in the catalog a couple of years, so I don't know how long they'll keep it. Um, I hope they keep it forever, but they probably will not. There we go. And now we're going to put our red down. Oh, I have two reds. Um, can't punch double. You can only punch. I need my silicone mat. Um, there we go. And, oh, thank you, Lisa. And now we're going to, I've already cut a little piece um, of the designer paper. I love this. It's uh, three, it's three-fourths by three and a half. You just need a sliver of it. Just, you know, usually I wouldn't even measure, but um, I love the words. It has and just a little sweet. And I'm going to put that, that on next. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. They are um, the snowplow. We ha it snowed last night, and the snowplow is out there right now making a lot of noise if you hear something. And um, so then this little uh, circle, you can see the stitching on it. Um, I thought I would use purple on this one. I used pink on the other, and I have a lot of... This is a uh, blushing bride is the pink in this, not petal pink. I made the mistake. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> in the designer paper, but I like, I like the, um, I'm going to try the purple this time. <clears throat> I'm going to get a drink of water quick. And, um, that little die that I showed you, it, it cuts two different sizes, the larger or the small. So I think we'll, I just thought it might be nice to have the two purples, and this makes the third, so carry over it. I'll, you know, using thirds on a card help is helpful. I'm going to use some dimensionals. <coughs> okay. There we go. And we'll put this on like that. And now let's, we have almost everything done except for our stamping. So let's put that aside and bring in our ink. We have, we need our mat. Got some gorgeous grape and some red. And I'm running out of room here. This is, oh, um, okay, here's my little, we need, because it's photopolymer, we need a, a piercing mat. Something, what could be a mouse pad, something like that underneath. And let's just take some little strips. These are just little leftover pieces. Leftover pieces. We're going to do this in red. We'll do Happy Valentine's Day. I'm wondering if you can hear that snowplow outside. It's really quite noisy. Sometimes they come like at five o'clock in the morning and it, they make such a thud. One morning I thought they had hit the house. Um, and I'm just going to take my little snips and give that a little trim. I love just trimming it this way. Oops. Anyway, today they're here later. Okay, and that's so that Happy Valentine's Day is done. Let's close that up. And then on the inside of our card, this one is three and a half by three and a half. I like to make the inside one. You, you could make it the same four by four as this out, outer one, but... I'll tell you what, if, when I'm, I'm always thinking about a class, and then it's always easier for people to put, have different sizes. Otherwise, they get confused. So that's my thinking on that. I just made it up. So we're going to do, um, we're going to do a little one. Uh, on this one, I did a heart that said, love you. But I think this time we're going to do um, text me. So we're going to do... Um, going to do the darker color gorgeous grape on the on the stamp that's sort of cute isn't that so typical of 
today's day. Um, we text. Texting is so nice and so easy and fast. So um, now we're going to. These are. This is where you're going to see that you're going to see that photopolymer. I mean the uh, the distinctive part in there. Watch that. See how it's shadowy. Text me, and um, and then I'm going to put down this ink pad too. It's happy to have you in my life. Like that. Isn't that a nice stamp set? I would definitely get this fairly early if. Uh, because things run out, you know how it is. Okay, let's put let's stamp one more thing and we'll put it together. We're gonna stamp the back. This is from, I don't know, it's from the annual catalog. It's got a dress form. I don't know what the name of it is. I can't remember. But it fell down from my shelf. I keep it in front of me and it fell down. That's why I remembered to use it today. So Okay, it's just got it's got the stamping up um, angel policy copyright. These cop stamps are copyright of, of stamping stamping up. So let's put this aside and finish our card. So this is going to go on the inside. This is just one of the easiest cards to make. I. I, I learned this from Karen, oh, that is totally crooked, um, from Karen Titus in Minnesota. She's a million dollar stamping achiever. And I just really, I so when, ever since I learned how to use different proportions for this card, I love it, it's so easy. Okay, let's put this one on like that. And like that and there we have oh we forgot the jewels on it let's see you know if you, these sort of pick up the color they they make it if you put it next to the red it looks red if you put it next to the purple it looks purple they're iridescent they're really really nice um and i think we'll put a couple on i think we'll choose three of them Let's put there and there. We'll put a large one down here on the purple, maybe like that. There we go, and there is our card all finished. You know, if you if you slice your um, dimensionals or you slice your gems, any kind of embellishment on the side like this, then it can stay in there really easily. That's at least what I. A tip that I learned. I think it's a good one. So this is our our stamp sweet conversations. That's our card, and you see we have three different cards, three that are slightly different. They all use the same components. This one I did horizontally. That one I did vertically. I think I like horizontal better. This one I used um, the the words like that and has a bow. That one has a knot. So. Anyway, and this one has the label from, hmm, I don't know what that label is from. Oh, that's from the Hippo Ones, too, I think. That is from, oh, it's right here. There it is. So, I have those all, I just have those, a lot of those cut out, and then you can sort of mix and match. But aren't those fun? Aren't those, isn't that a pretty combination together? And... Let's see, oh, I'm gonna do an envelope. That's what I am going to do. That's why this is here, I couldn't figure that out. Now I am going to bring in my silicone mat for this and I'm gonna try really hard to keep it the direction of my paper the right way. So when we fold it back, we want it to go like this so we can read those um, words. Je t'aime, the French words. Okay, like this. There we go. Now, oh, but there's the other side too. It's really pretty. Um, I'll just take my really big scissors. I like using my big one for envelopes. And then we are going to be all finished with this card. 
Love that side. I love that paper, actually. The whole thing is just really is super nice. So there's our card, and uh, I think it's a good one. Um, I had I had to make I made twenty of those for well actually twenty one for a swap that I did before Christmas. I haven't received any of these back. And um, the, this is our next card. The next one we're going to use um, a set called Flowering Tulips. And again, I, you you recognize that? Do you see that green? All these these are all those stitched. Um, circles that I die cut and on this one you which ribbon do you like better do you like the plaid with the accent of green or the dark green the evergreen with the accent of plaid let's let's tell me on this you chime in um, so the evergreen one is in our annual catalog this one is a brand new one it's very soft it ties beautifully it's called Evening Evergreen, and it is called um, Window Pane Check. So it's really nice. Which do you like? Do you like the dark green with on the card the best, or do you like the plaid? So you tell me, dark green or plaid, and I'm going to try to follow along with you then. Let's see once. Dark green, dark green. Okay, and the stamps are flowering tulips. Really a nice birthday set. I've not played with these. This thank you is beautiful. I've not played with this. Um, let's see. I mean, I've not played with the dies. I've watched some videos, and the, the dies are called tulip dies. They're, you can make these flowers look very realistic, I think, but I've not done that. It's You know, there's so many new things. We are going to use this today, so that pretty... Um, I will take that out of there and show it to you because it's cool. This falls just right out um, of the your machine, cut and your cut and emboss. But do you see how that just looks really, really neat? Really nice dies. Okay, we are going to put those aside for a second. This actually is a double bundle. These two stamps and these two um, dies are tulip fields. And let's see, where did I put my catalogs now? Someplace maybe on the floor. Huh? Oh, here they are. Let's see. Um, this tulip one is on, oh, it's really quite cool. Page 14, 15, 16, and 17. It's, a, it's like a mega suite. And you can buy the whole suite. The whole suite has one number. It's $126.75. Or you can buy things separately. Well, I did a windmill. It's really neat. I'm going to... Um, I don't know where I have it now. Hmm. It's here someplace. Well, here it is. It's right in my basket of things to show you today. This one. Isn't this cool? Um, these die cuts work beautifully. Anyway... Um, I just love this blue and white paper is from one of the ones we get from, from on stage. It's in the catalog. And the Blessed Home, I think, or something. And then I just cut a die, a die cut a double frame. And then I did this. And this windmill turns. It's it's the only thing is that it's a little bit um, you know, I don't want it to tear, so you can see how it does move, but it's really pretty. Anyway, the nice little bicycle, just a um my sister, Chris, married AJ, who in his family is from Holland. So I just thought that would be a neat card for, for them. There are lots of people who are have a, a, a Dutch heritage, and I just think that it's really neat. Now, it has this um, really fabulous paper and these stamps, but I have, haven't played with those yet. But so here we go with this card. Now, this paper is perhaps my very favorite, this blue and white tulip that you can see back here and I've used almost all of it up because I did this card for a swap and um but I have very little left I have about a square left <laughs> so I had to change it up for today and now uh, we'll bring this in let's see how are you voting oh, oh thank you about the, the windmill thank you Melissa what are you all deciding about the card do you like the dark green evergreen 
or do you like the plaid? Plaid, plaid. Oh, actually both. Hmm, who else? I need a few more. We've got a sort of tie vote here. And we're going to use these uh, polished dots. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And um, I have I placed some pretty big orders today. I was um, up early and I had a couple customer orders to, and I placed and then I have I'm using some of these in a class, and so I ordered a bunch of those. And it doesn't take long to add up. And um, so, but remembering that you get always that fifty dollars gives you each fifty dollars gives you a free item. So um, it's important to not stay in the middle. Like seventy five dollars is in the middle. Don't you know? But you're, if you or a customer goes to like 125, you only get two free products. But if you went to 150, you'd get three. So here's what we're going to use today. We're going to use this paper. Um, isn't that pretty? Love that. Love all the colors in it. This is a poppy red, and this is um, old olive and pear pizzazz. So the basis of our card, this is the card I, um, I have made this when I, I just sort of came up with these proportions, but... You, you can see it all over. A lot of people do it. It's five and a half by five and a fourth. And then you score it on the short side at one inch. So sometimes I just take a regular card and cut it off at one inch too. That works if you have some already made up. I'm going to stick those stickers over there. So here is the, the basis of our card. And we want to make sure that's bone folded very well and then the next part of our card is going to go in here like this it's not going to go to the edge it's four inches by five and a fourth four by five and a fourth you always want to keep it at like at four or three and then you'll get you'll get more out of a sheet of paper and then the other side's going to be like that and what I do is we're going to attach it I'm going to use my uh seal plus just real gently i found that i was i used to use it too hard, press too hard and then it would sort of tear okay and then i'm just going to see how i've got adhesive right there and then i'm just going to sort of close it up like this and there is the front of our card i tried to keep i cut the paper so i could have the reds on top because this has a predominance of red in this little label that we're doing and then we have an inside piece that's three and three-fourths by five. That's going to go inside. And you want to make sure that it's all covered up. And then we have our, we'll do our ribbons last. And then these are the pieces that we're, this is another one we're going to label different labels. So we have, I have this one. This one's from tasteful touches or something like that. This one, I can't remember what it's from, but I use it a lot. I love it. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Which one should I use? And then I've already punched some poppy red of that uh, Label Me Lovely. I've got some green. And then we're going to do our stamping. So we're going to move that aside. Um, which do you like better? Let's see. haven't used that one for a while. We could try that. Um, that. Looks good. Okay, so we'll put that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't think I will use it. I like the stitching on this one better because the our green, I was trying to go with that stitching theme. So I like to line things up on my grid paper and then I put it down and then we're going to do, I think we're going to pop this one, I think we'll pop it up. Where did I put my dimensionals though? I don't know. I'll just reach in here and get a big one out. And we'll just place it like this. that and then we're going to use a green um so this is pear pizzazz it's one of those circles i 
like that. And now we just have to do some stamping and tie some ribbon. So we'll bring in our um, stamping pieces and our inside. And let's see, let's see if we, what we have here. So this is, oh, uh, let's see. This is a photopolymer, so we're gonna need our mat, our silicone mat. And these are the stitched, like these come from that rectangle thing that I showed you. With all of those, you can get like three at a time. It's sort of neat. Really sort of like it. Okay, let's see once. Okay, dark green. Dark green seems to be winning, so if someone wants the plaid, better vote vote for it now because it looks like the dark green one is winning. This one says, uh, I've got it upside down. Red is really a tough ink color for staining. No one deserves, that's a little crooked. Let's try this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and see if I can get a little closer to my head without getting my hair in there. Oh my goodness, when we were in Florida, it is, you know, it's humid and oh my goodness, the hair gets really frizzy and hard to control. I like being in Montana because my skin, well, I, my hair looks better than it does when I'm in Florida, but my skin feels better in Florida when it's moist. And I start getting little skin cracks here when the air is so dry. Whoop, we're gonna use that red again. This is, this is, um, Poppy, red, poppy. Well, maybe I used the wrong ink, but we'll use it anyway. It'll still, it won't make any difference. But the cardstock I used was poppy. Okay, let's see once here. Three and three fourths by five, and that's the inside piece. And we're gonna go to one of my favorite birthday stamps. No, not the one that says uh, hap happiest birthday. This one is called, um, what is it called? Let me see, Sunny. Sunny, sunny sentiments. It has good things for the inside and outside. And I like that birthday one for the inside. And um, it's sort of, it has a nice little font, I think. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things like that. Um, we will put that away. And... Now we can put this bottom, you can make that tulip, you can cut this off, you can do whatever. Um, I think we'll just, I think what I will do is put a little adhesive right here and leave that open on top so the there we go. And then this is all going to go on the inside like that. Oh, do we see a little bit of white? I'm gonna just snip that off a little bit. Okay, this is my just my regular seal. All of the seals and seal pluses are back in stock. It's so nice. There were a lot of things on back order in December, but most of those things are in. Um, I would really encourage you if you're thinking about like the hedgehog, the ladybug punch, any of the dyes, um, get them sooner rather than later. Don't wait on that because things will go fast and shipping will become a huge problem. It already is a problem throughout the world as we have workers and it's just, uh, it's a sad situation. Um, Okay, we're gonna put this like this. Just sort of, we've got little layers. You can sort of see the the different layers on the card right there. I like that stitched. And then we're gonna put some gems on. Polish dots is what they're called. I'm gonna slide it out of there. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see, slide it out of there. We're gonna use these little polished pink ones and the clear ones are pretty too, but we'll just put the pink ones to pick up the tones from the red, the poppy. Put one there, whoops. When I made these for a swap card, I did not use these. I used um, green ones because I had to do 21 of them. And uh, so, 
Anyway, I always look forward to getting my swap cards back. That will be happening this week and next week. Okay, now we are... Oh, hey, Patty. Good to see you this morning, too. Now, what do you think about ribbons here? Um, let me scroll down. Um, pretty, okay. I actually do the orange color. Um, okay, we're gonna, I think we're going to do the, the dark green ribbon. So this is the ev evening evergreen, and it's a chevron weave. It's, and this is in the annual catalog. So we're going to put this one. We're going to make sure that we have it not um, twisted there. I am going to slice that off a little bit. And then, Patty, are you still in, in uh, St. George or have you gone to Arizona now? Okay, I should have not cut that off quite so far. Um, there, let me see once here. Now we're gonna get this piece in here. I'm gonna snip this off and see if I can tie another knot with just getting that right in there, just with that knot. I, although I cut that green a little bit shorter. And then I would have, that looks sort of, there we go. Let's make sure it's before I cut it any closer. Now we're gonna give it a little snip with my big scissors and I like bringing it. It's always sort of fun to use a new ribbon, so that's why I did. And um, there we go. And there it is, all finished. No one deserves a happier birthday than you. And I love being able to see the both sides of the designer paper. I really like that. Isn't that pretty? This is the one I did before. So this is this one I used a different label, the squarish one with the plaid. This one I used the uh, simply something or other label. And this one, the same one. So here we go. Which do you think? Do you still like the dark green? ribbon or which one there we go and okay let's flip the camera back and that does it for today so that is uh let me see what's here let me just remind you that this is the uh the dies and uh, stamps that we use today the flowering tulip stamps the um this this windmill card, windmill card is from the tulip fields. That'll be fun to play with. There are two different sizes of windmills, so that'll be neat. But anyway, it's a great set, and um, I think you will really like it if you get it. Okay, let's turn the camera up. There we go. Okay. All righty, ladies. I would encourage you get orders in quickly is uh because things will go fast and we all know how shipping is and how difficult it's been and it will get get that way again I'm sure it does every single year it did before covid um especially things that are metal that are made overseas hey Jeannie Williams we really had a good good group of of girls here this morning so nice to see so many of you um and I will be back next Tuesday. And, oh, um, let's see. Is there anything else that I need to tell you about? Oh, um, remember if you remember about the joining special that's going on right now, too. That's really important. And because you need to tell your friends uh, the best deal in the catalog always is the starter kit for $99. For $99, you get $125 free. You get to choose 125 plus two stamp sets. And it's always good to be choose the most expensive ones for that part of it. So that's a really good deal. It's pretty close to like a, about $175 worth for $99. That is a great deal. So tell your friends, tell your family, um, tell, tell anyone who might be interested. So, okay. Um, thank you so much. And I will see you next Tuesday.
Alrighty. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.